Hello, I am Kasim Sheikh and welcome to my channel. So as you know, QNA Maker has is now generally available. Uh, it was recently announced in build 2018, uh, and so on. The the way of connecting the new QNA Maker, you can say, knowledge base with Azure Bot service has slightly got changed. So in this video, we'll look into that particular change. Like, what is that? Uh, a new change or the new key which we need to add for in order to get connect um, the new QNA maker knowledge base with Azure bot service so for that um, for the brevity of this video I have already created a web app bot uh, uh, through which we need to connect with the C sharp uh, as a language and QNA maker as a template and uh, uh, in the QNA maker I have uh, already added some few URLs uh, related to FAQ and build up my knowledge base and now I just need to publish it so as to connect it with uh, the Azure bot service so now as you can see there is a slight change uh, in this uh, URL earlier it was knowledge base QNA knowledge base ID and uh, QNA subscription key which needs to be added into your Azure bot yeah, or web app bot but now there is a slight change over here as you can see we have this knowledge base ID there is a host name which is this one and an authorization endpoint key so just uh, make a note of these three things and uh, let's come back to Azure portal and this is our web app port let's go to application settings and here as I've already selected C sharp and uh, QNA maker as a template QNA template here I will be getting an option for adding the three keys that it that is a QNA knowledge base ID, QNA auth key, and QNA endpoint host name. So this knowledge base ID is nothing but here this ID. Let's add up. Our host is this one this particular URL this is the one which we get when we create a QNA maker uh, key through Azure portal itself again earlier it was through the portal uh, this QNA portal but now it is through Azure portal and uh, key is this one remember after this endpoint key this this string Oops, I believe I just sorry for this. Let's again copy the host name and copy it over here endpoint host name. So as you can see we have added the knowledge base ID, we have added QNA auth key and you have we have added QNA endpoint host name which we got from by publishing our uh, knowledge base let's click on save it will take few seconds to update the web app settings okay now let's go to test in web chat under this bot management just to see whether we it has been connected to our uh, knowledge base so this was a greeting message which I have already added into my knowledge base so great so I'm getting a reply that means uh, our QNA maker uh, knowledge base is now connected with our Azure bot service you can also check you can go to this uh, online editor here once so if you have used uh, QNA maker when it was in preview you must be knowing that earlier there was only two key and you can say it was a very religious parameters which we need to uh, enter over here that is in the constructor that was this key and knowledge base ID whereas now when it is uh, generally available it has added these three things that is Q auth key knowledge base ID and QNA endpoint host name 
so if you are have you are if you have already using the used the preview version you can uh, migrate your knowledge base to the new one so you can see the both the constructors are in place and uh, there was the main intention or the main objective of this video was to show like how to get connected because earlier there was only two ids and now there are three parameter values that is uh, knowledge base id auth key and endpoint hostname which we get through this uh, url which we get after publishing so thanks for watching the video hope you have uh, learned something new from this uh, kindly like this video and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching bye bye